us show us the oh. tour. Ooh, the ship. Oh. Who's, these come. Who's driving the ship? These come down. Ooh. Oh, actually, there's room in. for two. No, she is driving. Oh, she's driving. Goodness gracious, Mark. I think the guns are in the way. Maybe not. No, remember they have to sit all the way in. C cinnamon. Cinnamon? No, no, you silly goose. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, shut. Now fly. Oh, and see what happens is when it's flying, it's like this. Oh! Oh wait! I can't even see it. It's so thin. Wow! And then stand it up. Okay. Landing. Landing. My lawn. This is precious grass. Nice. Oh, blood. Wait, there's the gunshots. Oh. Here's this trail of blood. Oh. <laughs> you have fun? Oh, I did. How about you? Yes. Conduct the orchestra, Charlie. One, two, one, two, three. You're like hitting them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Ouch. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Chauncey. I said good morning. Oh, it's nice to see you too, Mackenzie. Oh, thank you, Charlie. Oh, it's nice to see you too, Mackenzie. Thank you, Chance. Very kind of you. I'm done with this conversation. Well, that's really rude, Charlie. I'm done. <sighs> Your brother's so rude. How do you put up with him? Well, I don't know. I tend to ignore people. That's the truth, ain't it? 
Yes, it is. I don't like being touched. I like doing my own thing. Ha 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 ha. I like being center of attention. I do. I don't. Because I don't want anybody near me ever. Okay. Wow. Very, very nice to hear that. Okay. Good night. Goodbye. 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 We just made it back to the apartment. Um, is we when did we get there? Six. We got there at 6. It took us 30 minutes to get everything upstairs. Um, it's, one degree it's 1 degrees outside. Um, well, it's 18 degrees. But it's with the wind, it's 1 degrees outside. <sighs> We're not prepared for this weather. We're kind of dying a little bit. We had to change to our bigger coats because... We literally just had to run our hands and forearms. And we had to run it through hot water and you know I had on a heavy jacket for the south and it was like 70 75 degrees the whole time there and now I'm here and it's one degrees and I had to put on my big jacket that I had to buy so we're freezing um, we have to go get dinner to eat because we don't have any food at the house so we're gonna have to get out tomorrow in the freezing cold and it's flurrying right now Okay, it's supposed to be colder tomorrow. I'm supposed to go out and buy groceries. So I don't know how that's going to work. How, yeah, how do they people live? Two southern girls in the Midwest. It's not, it's not working for us right now. Um, anyways, we made it. Yay. It's negative. I think it's seven degrees outside with a negative three degrees wind chill. So we have to go sign Savannah in for school so they know she's here and we have to go grocery shopping and it's so cold <laughs> so fun um this is all the stuff we have to pack away is the jacket i had to buy coming to the midwest because i don't have a big jacket so it has these little things to go on my hand and it's really two in one jacket, so there's a white jacket under it, and it zips into this big brown one. And I have a hood, so this is what we're wearing to go out in, what is it, negative three? It's zero now. It's zero, so. Nice and warm. And we got the fluffy socks with my sweatpants. <laughs> this is Savannah's outfit. Take us through. Okay. Vintage Reeboks, two pairs of socks. Um, the underlayer. Underlayer leggings. Underlayer shirt. Jeans, underlayer shirt. Um, Urban Outfitters wool sweater. 32 degrees jacket. That's she just it. bought herself for Christmas. Yeah. So it's really long. Thick gloves. Yeah. We have That's matching good. gloves. Yeah, we do have matching gloves. And I think. So we're ready to go out in zero degrees. Yay. Grocery Not shopping. <laughs> Us Southern girls aren't prepared. <laughs> Hi, we are at the school. Savannah just left to sign in. I'm sitting in the car in the warm. We just got gas. Savannah apparently took a picture of me. I'll insert it here. It's freezing. Um, and it's not even like it's 16 degrees right now. But what it is, it's so it's always windy here. I didn't know the Midwest was so windy, so it's wind chill, so it feels like zero degrees. So, yuck. But So I'm just sitting in the car waiting, and then as she signs in, we're going to go grocery shopping. And, yeah, it feels weird to be back here, but also it's nice that we got back because it was such a long car ride. It kind of feels like us being at home for three weeks was a dream, but then at home it feels like us living here is a dream like it doesn't like it doesn't actually exist but it does so 
it's good for us to experience like a different type of life like we're not used to like the cold like this and I think it's good to experience it because like me and my sister we want to live in a bunch of different places um throughout our lives and so we moved from the south to the midwest so now we're here we're experiencing different type of life different type of climate and I think it's good for us so even though I'm freezing that's how I feel right now um and it's so cold here that it's not like rainy or anything but it's so cold that there are flurries because it's just I guess that's like normal like it's so cold that it's just flurries even though it's not supposed to like rain or anything but <laughs> trees and we went to target the day after christmas and i got i found two mini trees to go with it so i'm really excited about that i also found savannah let me show you savannah got me these two trees for christmas and then again we went to the target the next day and I found two little small ones. So it's gonna go like this. So the big one is gonna go like, how cute. So I'm really excited about that. And then I found, it's in this bag. These are two other trees I bought at the dollar section from Target. Really pretty cool. And then as you can see, I like buying things in twos so that like they go together. And then the other things that I found at the dollar section at Target day after Christmas are these two little black trees. I really like them. They're really fun for me. And then I found, we have pumpkins that I found at the dollar tree, but I found two more that we don't have. So I'm really excited about those. Those are a dollar. And then, I found at Walmart, I found these black bows. I'm really excited. I don't know if I want to put them on the Christmas tree or I think I want to put it in my hair because my hair is long enough. So I think that'd be really pretty. And then at Michael's, a couple days after Christmas, um, I got these so I can wrap my floss or my embroidery around them and put the number because I keep losing track of what floss I'm actually using. And then I found these garlands. I love garlands. And so our tree over here, I have three pom-pom ones, but our tree is bigger than anticipated. So it only goes around half of them. So I feel like we need something in like the middle of them. So I got these for next year to go in the middle. And I'm really excited. They're like, they're white beads and they have little jingle bells and I love jingle bells. So really excited about that. So that's all the stuff I got. And then those are all the trees. I love trees. And then I stole this. <laughs> it's Garfield. This is, we've had this since I was a kid. Um, it's a magnet for the fridge and I stole it off my mom and dad's fridge so we can have it here because we love Garfield. And then I got this blanket for Christmas. And these beautiful like fall colors i really like it so yeah so those are all the trees i got for christmas um very excited they will be up all year because i believe that they're just decor i don't think there's necessarily christmas decor i think they're just decor so anyways really excited wanted to show you okay needle kits that's really all I asked for but I want to show you something funny because so I had one book um I love to read um so I put this book on my list and it's called the party crasher and I think she does the uh 
Shopaholic series. I don't know if you guys know that. Confessions of a Shopaholic. And that's one of my favorite movies. Um, but she she writes these, and then it, I it copied the link to another book. So my dad also bought me this Jude's Law which I've never heard of and I opened it on Christmas and I'm like thanks so much he's like well that's what you wanted and I said I've never seen this book in my life <laughs> so I have this book and he's like wow um I got you a book with a naked man on it <laughs> anyways I just thought it was really funny because I've never heard of this book before but apparently copied the link on my Christmas list and I never write a Christmas list. I mean, ever. I never give ideas. This is the first year I've done it. And this happened to copy from this. So I guess it was like a recommended book on Goodreads for this. But, so I got this one as well. So I just thought that was really funny. I want to share it. I also want to show you. My grandma knows I love embroidering. We bond over like sewing and embroidering. So she got me for Christmas, she got me this, she got me these two huge packs of floss, embroidery floss. So this one has 105, this one has 36, and she bought me some little needles, and she got me these two little, um, they're embroidery, you iron them on and it transfers over to a fabric. It's like these little wooden animals. And then she got me these little snowman days of the week. So that's what she got me for Christmas. And I'm like, oh my god, this is so much floss. And it has like all different colors and some are even like multicolored. And there's just so much. And then she got me this pack, which are more like pinks and purples. It's just so pretty and so thoughtful and I'm so excited to have that much thread because I've only bought thread individually for like certain projects that I was working on. So it told me the colors to get and I went and got them, but I've never gotten something like this before. So I'm really excited. So yeah, anyways, I just want to show you that as well. Okay, I'm going to show you the last couple things I got for Christmas from my sister. I got an apple slicer or apple wedger because she always thinks I'm going to cut off my finger when I use a knife to cut my apples. <laughs> really nice. And then my dad, my sister got this from my dad a couple years ago and his, his one is just like this and it's really cute and I'm always like I should take it. So he got me one and he has a heart and it's Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy and I just thought it was really cute. And then the other thing my sister got me for Christmas, which is like the nicest thing I've never even knew it existed. It is a perfect impression and it's this little gadget and you press it in um, to paper or like a book or something. So these are for books. And it says like property of Mackenzie. So I can like stamp my own books and like they'll just be there. And I'm like, that's such a nice gift. So yeah, those are the. So we have our door hinges and our outlet to the outside from our balcony completely frozen in ice. Um, so we had to call maintenance and he's coming he didn't buy enough weatherproofing to do the door. So now he has to do it again. And then we had to clear out the whole tree so he could get to it. So they're frozen shut. I'll insert the pictures, but yikes. So, it's been a fun morning. Yeah, it's three degrees outside and there's just like a huge gap through the whole entire door. And we felt the gap throughout the whole time we are here, but now that it's like, below freezing we can really feel the air coming in and yeah so you need to get weatherproof which they didn't do so yay i'm putting away the christmas village my grandma gave me and i broke a chimney freaking broke it 
I don't know how to break Christmas stuff so easily, but I didn't even touch it and it broke off. I don't know why I break so much Christmas stuff. I have shattered, we had a horse-drawn carriage that I shattered into hundreds of pieces. I decapitated our captain of the boat. I broke off one of the sails of the boat. I now broke off a chimney. How many glass ornaments have I broken? I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I didn't even, I swear I didn't even touch this. And I broke off the chimney. What am I doing? I don't even freaking know. We're just waiting for the maintenance guy. And I'm like, oh, let me put away the village while I'm here. And I'm like, freaking bro. I love Christmas so much. And it just doesn't love me back because I break everything. That's the end of it. And I think I'm just very strong or something because I've broken so many freaking Christmas pieces. How many ornaments? How many village pieces? And that's why I don't touch them anymore because I'm like, I break everything. I'm really upset. I'm sorry. <clears throat>just got back we had to make sure that the truck was working um because okay. the cold weather and we stopped at our favorite bookstore book and haul. let's show our book haul and this is all of our christmas candy and as you can see we've already bought valentine's candy too so yum this is the book i got not like the movies savannah got 10 rolls for faking it Low that first sight big summer and then they had this rack about where um authors or publishers send them a bunch of books that they're not allowed to actually sell it's advanced reader editions. yeah advanced readers editions that they're not actually not allowed to sell so there's like a whole um thing on it and we looked through them all so we got this one for free called alice isn't dead Nails painted, pamper day. Toenails painted a brown color. I'm not going to show you because people are weird about feet and I don't want my feet on the internet. Right? My nails are this beautiful icy blue with shimmers in it. Ooh. Happy birthday, mom. I love you. I hope you have the best day. She's working today, so, you know, but um, I think we'll open gifts on FaceTime later, so exciting. Also, weather update, yeah, it is sunny today. It's not raining or cloudy. It is sunny day, nice, crisp, 12 degrees outside. Woohoo! Um... Better than single digits, am I right? So, it's 12 degrees outside, so we are again braving the cold. Savannah's home, tell us how your first day of the semester went. It was good. <laughs> Bing is trying to do stuff I'm afraid of. I'm a scary cat, right? And it's really hard for me to put myself out there. Um, I just like, I'm introverted. I know I am, but it's like, I don't know. It's just, I, I feel like really, um, I don't know. I think it's really hard to put yourself out there. And I think like with this, I've wanted to do YouTube for years and I don't even know if I'm good at it or not because I'm so afraid to even try or even like post a video. I film stuff and made and like to like put it out on youtube as like a vlog or whatever but i'm so afraid to do it so i have footage from maybe two years of me like filming like i had like to go on youtube but it, nothing's ever gone on here so i'm really trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and this is really scary for me because i just I don't know something about putting yourself out there and like putting yourself on 
the web it's not even the web it's just like i'm so quiet and like no one really knows me that well i don't think they do besides like my family and you know i just i'm a scary cat and i don't want to put myself out there but it's like i want to share experiences i think i've done some really cool things in my life i've gone on some really cool trips that i've recorded and i want to put those out there and it's really just like also it's like a home video for me to like go back and like look at like our trips and like us moving here and stuff but it's um anyways i'm basically a scary cat so i'm trying to get myself out there do things that i want to do but i've been too scared to do like this and know that it is okay to fail mackenzie you're fine it's okay to fail if this doesn't work out if other stuff you do doesn't work out it's not an issue you know the worst thing you can do is it doesn't work out and that's not a big deal and it's just not so you don't need to be afraid you just gotta do it okay i'm sorry i'm speaking to myself right now mackenzie watching this editing this you're great you can do it you don't need to be afraid if it doesn't work out you're gonna be okay 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 Ooh, <laughs> let's get the lasagna. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It would be better if we had lasagna. I know we don't, but it's so funny. I'm Garfield. Oh no, I'm Garfield. What? The Garfield second movie, they switch places. The king is in Garfield's spot. Ooh, cold. What is lasagna? Ooh, bleh. <laughs> that was a spot on impression. I'm sorry. Watching the Eternals for the first time. For the first time. I'm so excited. My expectations are so high because I've been so excited to see it that I hope it's as good came out all the way last year. <laughs> Ooh, that's my shit. That's my shit. Ooh, that's my shit. That's my shit. I heard that you were talking shit and you didn't think that I would hear it. Everybody got up. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna talk you down. Tell me that everybody got up. Two times around that track when it's not school, and I've been in that track because there ain't no holler that girl. Ain't no holler that girl. Two times getting around that track when it's not school, and I've been in that track because there ain't no holler that girl. Ain't no holler that girl. That's my shit. We used our free coupons. We got two cakes for four dollars. Four dollars. Paul, I got lemon and white chocolate raspberry and i got chocolate chocolate two cakes for four dollars bitches too bad you're not here oh. <laughs>